Hi guys, it's Valerie here. I'm out and about in the garden in the sun and I'm loving it because we have been getting so much rain recently. Not that I'm complaining, but it's always good to have some sunlight. So I am about to show you guys the, um, basically give you guys an update on my garden expansion if you remember i posted a couple of videos when we were my husband was digging out the grass and uh, the other section we actually got a tractor that dug that section out because we got the driveway done but you know what let me go ahead and show you guys the expansion because i am loving it it's not the prettiest it's not the best but it will be better next year and i want to share it with you guys so stay tuned don't go now it's coming up okay my friends you're looking at the garden expansion now this section at the front here was done recently when we got the driveway done the um person with the tractor which is our local farmer <laughs> he does a lot of different things for us which we are very appreciative of um he dug this area out and i figured you know what i put some marigolds in behind some plants that i trans um transplanted um from the back there um but i figure you know what this is gonna have to be done in the fall because it needs cleaning and everything so i'm not gonna fuss about it but this area over here is looking lovely and i am loving it my hubby was able to finish the path going up through the middle there so now i can walk up the path and as you can see i put in some marigolds and the echinacea is in the back there. The echinacea was always there. The marigolds I put in and I also um, transplanted some um, ornamental onions, which is the one with the big fluffy balls at the end there. And uh, I have similar on the side, the marigolds in with some hosta the hostas have already finished blooming but now the ornamental onions and the um african marigolds are carrying on the show and i am so loving this little area here I'm enjoying it this year, but next year it's going to be even better because I have some plans for the iris in the middle there. They expired earlier because they're like a spring bloom, right? And so they are adding the greenery to the area, but I think I want to put some stuff in between them to get some more color in the area. In the back there is the golden glow cone flower a uh, variety of rudbeckia which i am liking guys but what do you think about this garden expansion check this out there's a monarch butterfly here we are actually a monarch way station so i have um monarch gardens in the back where i have milkweed for them to lay their eggs and just to it's sort of kind of i like to say it's a sanctuary but if you guys can hear their what do you hear guys bees if you can see the bees on the ornamental onions wow they are here in their abundance. Let's go back down this path. The, the plan for this path to finish it off is actually to put um, some gravel in the middle sections. I don't want to put any type of vegetation there. So I'm just going to finish it off with some gravel. Maybe much like the gravel that's 
on the driveway over there but this is the garden expansion guys i'm gonna go back down here and i'm just gonna show you from the front section there we go those bricks are there because they are going to be going over that section there my uh, hubby is going to put a path just like he has done over this side we're working with whatever we have around here we're not going out to buy anything new if you are planting a garden designing a garden and uh, you think you can't because you can't afford to think differently just think outside of the box and use what you can get go to garage sales go to um, secondhand stores and look for those sales in the garden center guys a garden does not have to be um, expensive to design or to make it look real good Okay, guys, so please plant some gardens. Here, th this section is also a new section, too, on the side here. I just thought I would just put gardens around the deck that my hubby built. And I am liking how all the garden is just kind of, as I like to say, hugging the deck. And I'm loving it. What do you think, guys? Please leave me your comments in the comment section. Leave me your thoughts, guys. I'd love to hear what you think. That's it, guys. I am loving the garden. I wish I had a drone shot for you guys. A bird's eye view but just last week my son was trying to do a, a bird's eye view and his drone got carried away in the wind all the way across in the bushes and so we're gonna have to get a new um, drone oh hopefully hopefully we get one before all the blooms are extinct so we can get a good look from above but thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel i appreciate you immensely thank you for watching the videos because all that helped the channel to grow and i appreciate it immensely now please if you have not subscribed don't miss out Okay, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Just check out the channel. There is a lot more than just showing you my garden on the channel. There are a lot of resources for home decor, home um, design, and also a little cooking of my Jamaican Canadian dishes. So go ahead and hit that subscription button, guys. And remember to hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next video